I couldn't believe that John would want to paint when we were right there in the same room, but if he could paint a wonderful painting, that would be the most meaningful thing in the world for him, and he hoped to other people who would, who would see it. Um, I'm Flora Biddle. I've been involved with the Whitney Museum of American Art for many, many years, founded by my grandmother, Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney. I first knew John because my then-husband, Michael Irving, and I fell in love with a very beautiful painting that was in a stable gallery exhibition in 1963. I first met John when he came to see where we had hung the painting and he was very pleased with where it was, I think, and we were very pleased to meet John. He was a fascinating presence in our lives after that, with his wonderful, intense, dark eyes and his enormous concentration on um, any conversation that one had with him. You felt like you were the only person in the world that he wanted to talk to. My husband and I were fortunate enough to be invited to stay with them. We took a real pilgrimage to Scotland and this extraordinary place that was so much reflected in, in John's paintings. So we arrived in this very remote village by the edge of the Sea of Sleet. It was incredibly atmospheric and you were constantly aware of the landscape and the sea and, and the weather. And I believe all that is in John's paintings in a very intense way. John didn't paint very much when we were there, but I remember he did it with such vigor and energy and seemingly unaware that here we were staring at him because we felt as if we were part of it as we watched these, these energetic and vigorous strokes of his paintbrush. I think that John's paintings had very different moods at different times, although they all had the same subject. They had enormous subtle variations in tone and, and feeling. All of his mind and all of his feelings went into every single painting that he painted, and I think that was what communicated itself so powerfully to, to us when we first knew his paintings. There were passion, love, fear, the whole range of human emotions, I think, are, are in these paintings, and that's why they're so compelling and, and beautiful and moving. He was just an artist through and through, and, and I admired and respected that enormously. <laughs> <laughs>